The DEP's Watershed Improvement Branch and Save Our Streams program have announced a second round of workshops for a citizen science project that you can take part in. Four vernal pool monitoring workshops are scheduled beginning in February. So what are vernal pools, you ask? Vernal pool is a type of wetland. It's a temporary pool, though. It fills up with snow and rain over the winter and early spring and fills up these depressions in our forests and woodlands and forms this habitat for amphibians, macroinvertebrates, and other animals to visit. They are important, especially for amphibians, to be able to lay their egg masses and to provide a safe space for those to develop into tadpoles and eventually emerge from the pools. Uh, but for that brief period, it provides that habitat that they need uh, to thrive and be safe from predators. So uh, because vernal pools do dry up, uh, they do not support fish populations and other predators. Uh, therefore, they're a safer space for amphibians to raise their young. Workshops include classroom instruction, along with demonstrations of things like the proper method for cleaning boots to prevent inadvertently spreading disease or invasive species into these extremely sensitive areas. These are critical for our environment and our watersheds. And uh, this training provides uh, more information so people can learn more about these uh, vernal pools and how to protect them and why they're important. Volunteers can come take a look at a vernal pond and learn how it's doing, is it functioning as a vernal pool. They'll be looking for those egg masses as indicators as a vernal pool. And also fairy shrimp, other indicator species within the vernal pool. They'll also look at the habitat surround it. Uh, the forest, the upland forest is also extremely critical for uh, these vernal pool habitats. So they'll be seeing if that's intact as well. And they'll be ready by the end of the day to go out and monitor a vernal pond uh, in their area. And most importantly, they'll report their observations back to the DEP. Knowing the locations and conditions of these vernal pools will help the DEP better protect them. I think the more people involved who care, uh, the more data that we get, the more useful uh, in the future that we can have a more baseline of what our normal is and if things happen that aren't uh, our normal, we can compare those and get a better understanding of what our environment's doing. Vernal pools are most active in late winter and early spring, so the window to get useful data is relatively small. This season's workshops are scheduled for February 24th, March 2nd, 16th, and 23rd. Space is limited, so if you're interested, send an email to saveourstreams at wv.gov to sign up. For Environment Matters, I'm Mike Huff. Thanks for watching.